there appears to be some confusion on MUDEX installation space and storage requirements. How much space does it really take up? Where does it really install to? We'll answer these questions and more coming up, so stick around. Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're gonna to install MUDEC and see just how big it is, where it installs stuff to. We're doing this on a freshly imaged Steam Deck with a clean formatted micro SD card. The first thing we need to do is establish how much space is being used as well as how much is free. So we're gonna look at the properties of the home folder and we're gonna see that 3.6 gigabytes are currently used. And if we look down in the right hand corner of Dolphin, we'll see that 932.2 gigabytes are free. Now let's look at the micro SD card where we are going to be installing Emudeck. 116.6 gigabytes free. It's a it's a 128 gigabyte card and currently 24.1 kilobytes, not megabytes, kilobytes is used. This is one empty card. There's nothing on there, fresh format, the whole bit. So we'll go ahead and install Emudeck. Now we're not gonna go through the entire install process, but I do wanna cover a couple of things while we speed through the install. So what I installed, all the emulators, I selected them all both Emulation Station DE and Pegasus launchers, the default themes for those two launchers, and I injected ESDE. Now what's not included with this, right? BIOS files, ROM files, scraped media, box art images, videos. This should go without saying, but I wanted to include it anyway. Now on my OLED Steam Deck, this is what my breakdown looks like. I have 925 megabytes in BIOS files, 123 gigabytes in ROMs, 17 gigabytes in scrape media. I'm using about 141 gigabytes and I am a fairly conservative type of guy when it comes to emulation. Really nothing past PlayStation 1 and not too many of those. So uh, as usual, your needs are going to vary. All right, so while we're waiting for this thing to finish up, oh, and there she goes. Okay, now we've done a full install. It's time for us to check out the space used and free. Look at that, we're down to 923.7 gigabytes free. And if we look in properties of home, let it sit there and calculate and chew, 11.8 gigabytes are now in use. That's a nice little chunk of change now, isn't it? But what about the SD card? Let's see what that looks like. The SD card now has 116.2 gigabytes free, so not a whole lot going on in here still, but let's, let's for completion's sake, let's take a look. And that is 326.4 megabytes. So it seems a lot bigger, but it's still very, very small. What does that mean? Let's check it out. So before and after, and you can see we're closing in on nine gigabytes total. That's before ROMs and BIOS files and everything. And of course, if you were putting this on the internal drive, you'd have to suck up that space. I thought this is an interesting experiment that not too many people have done. And of course, if you like what we're doing here, give us the like, give us the subscribe. There's only like 5% of you that are subscribed. So let's see if we can boost that number up a little bit. Meanwhile, thanks so much for watching and check out some of these other videos. Take care.